Hello again, I'm Blunty, and I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat for two reasons. First, this is one of the few viewpoints of the city of Sydney that I find truly pretty. And secondly, because I'm off to visit Samsung headquarters. And I'm doing that because they want to show off all the gadgets, gear and shiny technology that they're going to be selling to people as we hurtle hopelessly towards that most pathologically insane time of the year, Christmas. Once enough of the beautiful wet scenery had passed us by, we piled into my least favourite method of transport, a bus, and completed the journey to Samsung HQ. And naturally, upon arrival, I headed directly for the most important thing, beer. Then, strolling through the relaxing blue lighting and the panic-inducing Christmas decorations that only serve to remind us how quickly the year is closing, I took a look at the electrical enticements on offer. Their home theatre systems over here, which I might appreciate more if they weren't so glossy. Cause while they're quite pretty, that dear god the dust and fingerprints show, and I'm lazy, I don't like cleaning. They even had my old friend the Navibot tirelessly cleaning the floor made grimy from the trampling feet of filthy journalists and dirty, dirty bloggers. Naturally, me being me, I made a direct line to the cameras. I won't dwell on them here because I'm hoping to get some review units to give these a proper going over soon. But it's enough to say keep an eye on the Samsung cameras because they've got some very clever tech going on. Then laptop line had what I'll kindly call familiar styling. They had their line of mobile phones on show of course, but I really found it hard to care even a little bit about these when the big brother of the Galaxy S was on show. I am of course talking about the much anticipated Samsung Galaxy Tab. The Galaxy Tab is of course Samsung's answer to the market that Apple blew wide open with the iPad. It's an Android tablet and it's a grown up version of the Samsung Galaxy S mobile phone which, if you see my review, I quite liked. And I've been itching to get my hands on it since it was officially announced. It'll be hitting the shelves not too long from now and I've been constantly hassling the friendly people at Samsung to send me one so I can put it through my patent pending blunty review machine. And I'm told that will be happening, which makes me very happy. And let me tell you, that's a review you should really be anticipating because in the 15 or so minutes I spent completely monopolizing one of the demo units, I actually started to realize I may very well like this even more than my iPad. It seems to run beautifully smoothly, the size and design is much easier to hold one-handed, and the two inbuilt cameras seemed very good, although in these ridiculously dim and blue lighting conditions it was quite difficult to be sure because that's about the worst situation you can try and take pictures in. But it also has a flash, which is nice. And using it as a camera didn't feel as silly as I'd anticipated a camera on a tablet device might be. There was even a first person shooter game installed which while impossible to play one handed while trying to shoot this footage for you guys, did in fact run smoothly and play well should be interesting. I seriously think the Galaxy S Tab will provide people a genuinely good alternative choice to the iPad and may very well be the best Android tablet on offer this Christmas season. The outright price at 999 Aussie dollars is apocalyptically stupid though in my opinion. I mean, if they want to give Apple a bit of a bloody nose and they do have the potential to do so, it needs to be cheaper than a thousand quid. But, it seems they're pricing it that way to encourage more people to get one on contract through a mobile carrier, which will be much, much cheaper outright. But then, of course, you're locked into a contract and you've got a data plan, etc, etc, etc. But, all this is perhaps and maybes and first impressions. I'll hold off giving it my official nod of approval until I can actually get a review unit in my hands to put through its paces properly in regular daily use. I also dressed up as Santa and had a picture done because... I have no dignity, and they said I could win a camera if I did it. I need to ask them about that. I mean, look, clearly, I should win, right? Anywho, thanks for watching. I'm Blunty, and I will catch you next time.